Good day, I am Quinity Joaquin from 1 BSD 8 to 6. This presentation is all about the ethics and implications of GMO or the genetically modified organisms to human health and society. So, at the end of this lesson, we should be able to describe and define the genetically modified organism and also to identify and evaluate the ethics of GMO and the potential future impacts to human health and to society. So, we have four tasks here connected to our topic and this will be answered later on in this presentation. So, for our first task, we have described the nature and characteristics of GMO. So, GMO or the genetically modified organisms are those plants and animals that have been edited with incorporate genes from other organisms to achieve a new and different characteristics that will contribute to them to grow fast and have a resistance on chemicals. These GM products are produced through genetic technologies with the genetic engineering method that have become part of our everyday life through agriculture, medicine, research, and environmental management that helps society to harvest and to create a quality product with a large quantity of it. So for our second task, we have how the GM food are being produced. So GM food or the genetically modified food is a food produced from organisms that change their DNA using the method of genetic engineering. So it involves inserting of an isolated donor DNA into the genome of unselected organisms. So the laboratory will transfer a new DNA into an animal or a plant cells. And then these cells will grow usually in the tissues where they will develop on the given or in the selected organisms. And these organisms will inherit a new DNA that will help them to grow and have a resistance on all harms. So for our third task, we have the advantage and disadvantages of GMOs or the genetically modified organisms that brings into human. So researchers found that GMO has advantage and disadvantages into the human life. So the genetic engineering method benefits people to have more nutritious and more tastier food and also to have faster growing of plants and animals which is really in favor to those farmers and hog raisers. A different traits which is really desirable and a health conscious really develop where it can create a medicinal foods that can be used for us as medicines. And lastly, this GMO allows us to increase the supply of food which less cost and with a less or with a short interval of time. However, this GMO makes us concerned on our health because sometimes we can have an allergic reaction on those GMO products or an ex unexpected harm. And also those farmers who is not using a GMO product can be on harm because this can be moved through their crops. And some of the food which is created by the GMOs are less nutritious because of the specific DNA transfer on it. So for our last task or for our fourth task, we have give some examples of foodstuffs which are genetically modified. So most of the crops which is usually genetically engineered here in the Philippines or those GM food which is available in our country are rice or the golden rice and then the corn for feed and foods that transforms the farmer's life here in our country and then we have soybean potatoes and apples that develops to resist browning and also papayas so for the animals which is genetically modified here in the philippines mostly these are those animals that is used for dairy or for those meat that really became part of our everyday life these are those pigs cows chicken fishes and also carabaos so this is the end of our presentation thank you for watching